I need a small fry and a large Diet Coke. Yeah, a little snack and fry. Me. Go to Rochester Mills. Might go to Griffin Claw after. We'll see where the night takes us. Oh yeah, experimentation. Might go there too. If you're watching on YouTube right now, go sit in your car, watch this on your phone, and buckle in because you're going on a trip, baby. I gotta go take a deduce. You may pause now and read all of this awesome history if need be. Okay. We're in downtown Rochester Hills. I don't know how well this camera's gonna pick up sound, but I'd like to get your guys' review of uh, of a uh, Rochester Mills. It was fantastic. Great food. The crab stuff, orange roughy was delicious. And salad was good too. Gabby's salad was good, she says. And they have cider. And they have a cider. Plenty of wines. Plenty of wines. Yep, two four packs to go of the Raspberry Rattler and the regular old milkshake stout. Okay, guys, I wanted to uh, finish up my review of Rochester Mills. Awesome service. Service was top notch. Great food. Uh, great beers. Got a good flight. Uh, I'll probably do some reviews and some other stuff following up on that. Uh, it was a great, a great brewery. Great experience. It's a pretty big one. It's one of the bigger ones in Michigan. So. Now we're going to X Fermentation in Pontiac here. So, it should be pretty fun. See you inside. Okay. Basically a 
sour with ginger in it. Pear is awesome. Never thought ginger would pair good with the sour, but this is this is working for me. So overall, for a sour with ginger, 92. I'll give you a number grade on this one. 92. Cheers, folks. Cheers. Alrighty guys, so X fermentation. <laughs> How would we write that one? What do you guys think? I liked it. It was a little weird with the comedy night, but... Yeah, in the background. <laughs> was that comedy? <laughs> I thought it was comedy. It was a touch loud. I wish it was a little quieter so we could just enjoy the beers. I think it was good. I like, the beer was great. The place was cool. Just a little bit loud. You couldn't really, you know, converse. The bartender looked very cool. He was a very nice guy. He asked me, when I got my second beer, he asked me what I had the first time. Um, and he, then he asked how I liked it. So. You seemed kind of... Uh, that was cool. The, like, hot dog, like, options they had sounded absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. They just seemed like they had a lot of work going into them. Yeah. <laughs> they created hot dogs. Yeah, there was, like, blueberry preserves on one of them. Hmm. I wonder how they do with the, the other brewery right next to them. Probably it's good. They probably work off each other. Yeah. Nice location, very convenient. <laughs> well, for me, it's all about the beer, and the beer was great. There you go. Dad's was pretty good. It was light, but it was good roasty, good coffee. My IPA was really good. The sour was fantastic. That was something else. That was ginger good. sour. You had the ginger flavor plus sour? That's yeah. Crazy. No, I've never had that combination. Yeah, that was... I had ginger in like a, I don't know what kind of beer it was, and it didn't work very well. It was too spicy to, and that was made by, I won't say any names, but Sierra Nevada. And... <laughs> you didn't like it? Ah, I didn't. Ginger, the ginger beers are a very uh, different taste. I mean, you really have to... Yeah, ginger's a pretty strong. When, when me and Tyler did that uh, date night where we did a chopped like, challenge, ginger was one of our secret ingredients. It was really hard to work with. It is. It <laughs> overpowers a lot. It was overpowering. 